This is a common question by many students. Usually they ask whenever they start their career in networking, in IT, in cybersecurity. So usually they ask that how can we practice hands on? So I thought let me make a short video on that. So there are many tools which we can use for practicing and improving our skills on IP networking. The best tool to start with is called as Packet Tracer. So what you have to do, you have to download and install. It's like a very simple installation. So this is called Cisco Packet Tracer. You have to download and install. After installation, you can click on it, open it and click here on confirm guest. Then it will open up the tool for us like this. So this is called as Cisco Packet Tracer. The version I am using is version 8. I will share the link in description to download. This is a free software by Cisco for everyone. So here it gives us some routers and switches. We can simply drag them and practice on them. So for example, we want to take two routers here. Let's say maybe two switches here and some computers and some laptops even some servers as well then we can connect them through cables i also have made a detailed video on this one that how to use packet tracer and usually the labs which we create they are based on cisco packet tracer there are many other tools as well which we can use like gns3 evng but to start with cisco packet tracer is the best platform so here we can click on the devices and it gives us options to add the modules to remove the modules like this in lifetime and in real time we can also do some basic configurations or if you want to practice really like a router so it gives us an interface where we can simply go and we can type some commands for example we can say show version and it tells us that what's the version of this router ios image and all other details as well it is telling this is the type of software it is using these are the images and let's say we want to check for example that okay how many ports are active so we can say show ip interface brief just like a normal router so it is telling us that there are three ports gig one gig zero and gig two so Similarly, we can also practice switches. We can go to CLI, type some commands. We can go to computers. We can assign them IP addresses. In here, we can use CMD, some other tools as well, which I have made a lot of other separate videos on this. So you guys can start with Cisco Packet Tracer for IP and networking. So all our labs usually we make in Cisco Packet Tracer for basic courses. For example, this is a practice lab. With each lab, you always get a packet tracer topology file and a PDF lab manual. So, for example, this is a VLAN lab. Here, you are always given a task to perform. This is a topology which tells you that, okay, there are two switches and four computers. We need to configure VLAN between them and these are your tasks. So we give you a clear task to perform and relevant information and then there is a solution as well. So you have to follow these steps. First try yourself as instructor will explain and then go through these steps yourself on switch 1. You have to type these commands. Switch 2 you have to configure it like this. Then again you have to make access ports, trunk ports, all of that and then finally you can verify like this. So all our labs they are always proper. Like this, you always get a clear topology, a clear task and a clear solution plus verification. Along with this, you always get a packet tracer topology file. So you will follow the PDF lab manual and then you will open this topology file. Here in the topology file, again we have task, we have solution and we can click on these switches and finally we can do the configuration from here and we can see that okay whether they are able to ping each other or not after the configuration so this is how you guys can start start with basic labs start with packet tracer download it today from the link in description below and start practicing start with the practice labs if you keep on listening to lectures and all of that you will never learn once you do with your own hands once you do this configuration once you get hands on then you will get to know how things work actually so this is the best platform to start after this you can upgrade there are many other options once you move to the advanced level so after 
packet tracer so i would suggest like first of all you guys should try cisco packet tracer which i have explained to you and there is a detailed lecture how to use it the second one is i would recommend after this you guys should try gns3 because you can have real time experience but don't start with gns3 start with packet tracer then move to gns3 then in future let's say you are planning for your ccie lab at that you can get if ng pre prepared images and sent os based solutions as well like linux based images as well and then there is also well there are so many other tools as well but best place to start is with packet tracer so start it today